Hey, you know what I was thinking about the other day? It happened a long time ago. Why are you still worrying about it? I just want to go over it one more time. Okay, fine. So we were looking for a couple of droids. Yeah. And we see two droids that match the description. Yeah, it was pretty much bang on. And then we talked to some old guy. And those weren't the droids we were looking for. But they looked exactly like the droids we were looking for. Why can't you just drop it? What about that kid? You didn't even ask him anything. For the last time, we didn't need to see his identification. Because, like, usually we check for ID. Why didn't we need to see his identification? Remember they told us to check for IDs? What? Just stop it. Stop it. No, it's just because... Right. Stop it. Move along. Move along. No. They told us. <sighs> Whose turn is it? I think it's, I think it's my turn. It's my turn. Hey, did you hear we're not allowed to drive speeder bikes in the forest anymore? What? That's how we weed out the bad pilots. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, how come this door's locked? Well, you can't go in there. Yeah, no one's allowed in there according to Vice Admiral Yorin. Uh, that's strange. I have a work order. Are you sure it's this room? Put the prisoner in there myself. Uh, that's why I didn't get a cancellation. See, according to that port number, you're supposed to be guarding that exhaust shaft. It's, uh, obviously a typo, right? Admiral Yorin did sign it. We had to guard that exhaust shaft before we get in trouble. Codes one, two, three, four. After all that, finally, he shows me the back of my head. And it's looking pretty good, but a little uneven. Point is, don't go to that scruffy-looking barber on deck 12. That is a terrible story. You know, scruffy-looking, a rebel spy that got up on 17. A rebel spy? Yeah, met him this morning. He seems like a nice guy. A nice guy that happens to just hate order. Do rebels even speak our language? This guy does. Sounds kind of funny, though. Like, you shouldn't be talking to rebel spies. Edith is right. If you ask me, rebels belong at the blasting end of a blaster. Uh, you shot rebels? I've shot at rebels. Wait, don't you guys think this is fascinating? How often do we get the chance to talk to a real live rebel? If you want to talk to him, just tell the guards you're there to fix the thermal regulators. Are you crazy? Because you'll be talking to a rebel one second, and then the next second he's tearing your lungs out. Lung tearing is a celebrated part of their culture. How do you even tear someone's lungs out? We don't know. We're not rebel spies. I have to go talk to this guy. Fine, but don't expect me to go carrying around your disassembled parts. Hello? Hello to you. And you know what else? They eat meat off bones. Gross. I believe Cannibals. that. 100%. No, apparently it just comes that way. Well, he, he said that if he got out alive, he'd take me to barbecue rib fest on Pollux 5. Can't you see what he's doing? He's telling you what you want to hear so he can lure you into his rebel trap. It's not a trap. It's, it's a, a trap. trap. No, see, he said you and Edith always go out of your way to disagree with me. Who said? The rebel? His name is Sean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to know that guy's name. I might have to shoot him. You mean you might have to shoot at him? Okay, I didn't think this was going to be a big deal. It was just nice talking to someone with a different perspective who's not from the station. The enemy perspective disrupts the collective. Well, you just made it seem like life in rebel systems isn't so bad. Especially for clones. What's it like for clones? Why don't the rebel systems just listen to the Emperor? And we wouldn't have to blow up their planets all the time. Because they don't get it. The more they disobey the Emperor, the more we tighten our grip. And the more we tighten our grip, the more systems will be firmly held in our massive space hand. Well, you know what Sean said? Stop it. We're going to stop it. We're going to lock it down. We're not going to talk any more about this rebel. We are just going to move along. So what did you do for the rebellion anyway? I'm a political cartoonist. Mm, you're a monster. Do you know that? <laughs> Look, Edith. I'm sorry, how do you know my name? Your friends told me all about you. Dennis4862 talked about you quite a bit. Dennis4862 was here? Yes. 
And I suppose you filled his head with all kinds of ideas about defecting and traveling the galaxy. Hardly. But I would wager that that kind of persuasion might be more effective on you. Well, I don't plan on spending my whole life on this station, obviously. Hmm. Neither do I. You will help me to escape. I really won't. All right, then. Plan B. Dennis, you will stop hiding now. I will stop hiding now. Oh, hey, Edith. You will take Edith prisoner and blast her if she tries to escape. I will blast her if she tries to escape. Uh, why, why are you doing everything he says? Uh, I don't know. All I know is I will blast you if you try to escape. Well, but I don't know if I could blast Edith because of the feelings that I have for her. Feelings? Uh, what, um, feelings? Great. Uh, I didn't really know how to bring it up. Um, I know I'm just a clone, so it probably wouldn't work out, but... Oh, I, I mean, I didn't. You have no chance with Edith. Ah. Uh, so what's the problem? Is it because I'm only three years old and have the body of a grown man? What? That's not... Okay. Can you stop it? Okay, Please? fine. Edith totally wants to jump your bones. Okay, well, I didn't actually oh, say, yeah. that. say that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, why? Hi. Hello. What? What's going on in here? Darby, don't listen to him. He's doing this thing where he says stuff and Dennis believes him. Oh, my God, it's you. What, like some kind of mind trick? Dennis, you'll take Edith and get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, be careful. Okay, so Edith and Dennis look like they're gonna go make out. What the crap kind of twisted mind trick was that, rebel? Darby, I wanted to be alone with you. No mind trick is that powerful. <laughs> you don't understand. You're my mission. I was sent here by your father. I don't have a father. Take this. This chip will help you get in touch with your father, Admiral Gul de Sac. Admiral? Yes. The Admiral's spy network has been searching for months now. He's a great man, dedicated his life to the rebellion. When you were born, you were hidden from the Empire for your own protection. But you are no longer safe. My dad's a rebel? <laughs>